Welcome back to Comfy Boost, a place to get your weekly dose of wellness, beauty and comfort tips and tricks and challenges to apply straight in your busy schedules. If you watched our last video, you know that we went all in and completely redesigned an outdoor garden to fit a herb garden. And coming out of the exercise, we actually came out with a lot of spare peppermint leaves that we didn't know where to put. So we asked ourselves, what to do next, what to do with them, should we like throw them out? Of course we didn't want to throw them out because we know all the benefits of peppermint leaves. So in this case we decided to create a playlist of different uh, recipes and cooking videos. In general, peppermint can be used fresh, dried as an oil or extract. But in this particular video we will focus on fresh and dried options that we can get from our garden. So before we start cooking, let's have a look at the benefits of peppermint which is rich with vitamin A and vitamin C. It can ease up your headache, it can help with upset stomach, uh, it can boost your immune system. And let's not forget, it's very rich with antioxidants and it's a good source for minerals like iron, potassium and magnesium. Okay, now let's go straight to the recipes. In this video, we're going to show you how to prepare a mint pesto, which is good for salad. You can add them also uh, aside to grilled veggies or meat, especially lamb. For this recipe, you will need 3 4th cups mint leaves, 1 4th cup parsley leaves, 2 medium garlic cloves, half teaspoon finely grated lemon zest, 5 to 7 tablespoons extra virgin olive oil and some salt. Ok, let's get right to it. Add mint, parsley and garlic in a food processor and pulse until chopped. With the machine on, slowly add the olive oil and salt and blend until smooth. In order to avoid that the peppermint stick to the glass of the food processor, try to keep them dry. Don't wash right before chopping. And if you already run into the problem that the leaves stuck to the glass, try adding some additional liquid like water or oil, depends how oily you like your pestos. And once ready, keep the pesto in sealed containers and keep refrigerated at all times. Also, please note that this pesto recipe comes out quite garlicky, so if you like your pestos a bit milder, you can adjust the original recipe as per your taste either leaving out some garlic, adding more peppermint leaves or any other variation that you like. Cooking time for this recipe, only 10 minutes. We really hope that you enjoyed our video on peppermint recipes and if you did, give us a thumbs up. If you tried any of our recipes, please comment below. Also, if you have found any really cool adjustments to the recipes, let us know. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for new lifestyle tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye! Ciao!